How y'all doing? It is Will from Will's Personal Development Show. And today I will be reacting, responding, commenting on one of my favorite YouTube channels. This has been me, my favorite YouTube channel for years. It's called RDC World. I'm sure you've probably seen or heard of them off uh, social media. They do these anime slash comedic skits. And I love, love, love them. I feel like they're my friends even though they've never met me. Um, just a typical thing, typical super fan type of deal. Um, but today they have this uh, video called Back and Forth Episode 5, Ranking the Top 5 Anime. So I'm going to be honest here. I've been looking forward to doing this video the entire day, and it took a while to set up. Uh, the lanes I go to to get these videos to you, you guys don't understand. I spent a good 20, 30 minutes working with OBS trying to set up the video and audio and, and make sure the audio levels are right because in the past I would record it and the microphone was too soft or the microphone was off or the Windows uh, audio was off. But anyhow, I am ready for this because I have my own opinions about the top anime and ranking them from D or E all the way up to A, B, C and S class. And I know... I'm going to have some disagreements here, and I'm going to explain my reasons. Um, I love how much they love anime, and even though, you know, they're, they're living uh, all across, I think they live in Texas, so far away, I, I, I really like this, and I, I'm going to be frank, I already watched parts of this, but I wanted to save the whole thing for this reaction. So let's go, let's get it, let's have some fun. And I may skip ahead a little bit or, or fast forward a tiny bit. Yo, welcome to Back and Forth episode 5. And guess Just because otherwise this, this is going to be an hour long video. I know from past experience. Before I talk we get the episode started, I want to go ahead and show you the advertisement for the day. Yo, oh gosh, of, okay. I definitely skipping the ad. Sorry, dude. But I mean, I, I appreciate <laughs> you uh, working on this, but oh, we got to jump into it. Ready to argue. Attack on Titan. So I have got to say probably S class, S minus or A plus. Um, let's see what they say. Is an S rank show, but I just feel like we can't just throw an S right now. Yeah, it's too early to do it. Yeah, I mean that's that's the fault of the facilitator. You threw one of the best shows, best modern shows first. I mean, you can't help but to give it an S, like even if you threw it. But it has it's it's full of S rank moments in the show. It got it got S rank moments in A. The lowest is an A, bro. Yeah, lowest is an A. It can be absolutely no lower than an A. Yeah, I can't get mad at an I agree, I agree. Very the tough. plot, Very the tough. conspiracy. Oh, <laughs> Go. For me, I would put Fairy Tale as a C, maybe a D, because it's a lot of trash, like a um, lot of filler, and they're just trying to copy some of the good shows that came before, like One Piece. It's kind of like a better version of Seven Deadly Sins, in my opinion. So you know what I would rate Seven Deadly Sins. That's in the trash. All right, man. First of all. <laughs> so looks like they rated higher than I ever would. Everyone except for that one guy. Let's see what they have to say about it. I mean, B and A, you're kidding. Oh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta give it upside down because I haven't seen it. It might be a B. <laughs> I give it a C, C plus maybe. Honestly, it's a good popcorn show. I will watch that for fun, but I would not like really, you know, write home to my mom about it or, or tell my friends. Like, it it's enough to keep you interested, but still kind of crappy. I mean, the plot really never goes anywhere. Nothing's really like incredibly shocking. Like. It's almost night and day with Attack on Titan. the first 60? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I only seen the first 15 yeah, episodes. And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a cat watch it. it. It wasn't sorry. I started watching because I lost uh, my, my iPod. And I couldn't watch the iPod. I can't see the iPod. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 
watch a few episodes of and that. Fighting there, right? And they were fighting there. And they were fighting. But, bro, that first 25 episodes, man, that shit was boring as a bitch. That's what I'm saying. The first, the first 15, the first 15 uh, episodes that I... Yeah, honestly, that's that was how it is. I mean, it, it really doesn't get that much better. Like, they have some arcs that are, like, kind of good, like, kind of pressing. But here's the thing, like, it's one of those, like, goody two-shoe shows where no one really ever dies, no matter how grave the situation gets. Like, more or less, you know, things resume normal. And the build-up, it's just so simple, so predictable, so... So, uh, it wasn't like, Captain Spider-Man. So, I, I stopped watching it. It was they started, trash. They, they went to a, this school and all that stuff. Uh, and they started introducing oh, yeah. people. I, I, wa yeah, I read yeah, it all. Yeah, I watched it all. I kept I waiting for it to get good. Like, never really did. I've never seen that one episode. I haven't seen it. But it looks really soft to me. It looks really soft to me. Behold, behold. I read all of them. I give it a C2. I give it a C2. That shit was clean. C plus maybe. Or B minus. That's what I'm saying. I watched the later episodes and it was boxing. The fighting's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's not great. Oh yeah, fairy tales. Go. Black Clover. This one. I haven't seen oh, yeah. except for one episode. Oh, I gotta so. give it a C. I ain't seen it. Ooh, that's it's even lower than Fairy Tale. <laughs> so I might not watch that then. I mean, I think it's still like. <laughs> it's still oh, number. Oh, it's oh, If it's even worse than Fairy Tale, really I'm not gonna oh, watch it. Exactly I'm I seen it. It's number three on Crunchyroll right it, now, though. So like, why? I guess crappy shows can be popular too. I don't know. Like, I tried to keep watching, but it's so basic. The nigga keep on saying he want to be the Fairy King or whatever the fuck that nigga want to be, but like, it's just whatever. That that nigga sounds like the worst version of Fairy Tale. I saw that episode. I, I think I saw like two episodes, three episodes. I was like, uh, I'll save this. I like how his dick in came out like the one of the episodes, but that's literally it. That's it. I was. Yeah, his voice is going normal. Maybe I would have gave it a chance, but. Did you I watch can see, it? I can see, yeah, I, saw, I watched one episode. Yeah, we watched but one then, episode I, then I was like, besides him, whenever he was like, Sukiya! I was like, oh, no. Hey, you can like, oh, no. What's that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we got to try out. I don't know. My Hero. My Hero Academia. A. B or A. It is not an S class, yo. It is not an S class. It is, it's good, but like, Nothing really that original and groundbreaking in it. That's not how it's supposed to be. I don't think it fucked up enough to drop down the head. It's a B. It's all potential of being a B. S is like the cream of the crop. I'm saying, but you give a show its potential of being a S. You know what I'm saying? He's a baby show still. But you gotta give it an A. He's still a baby show. That book is definitely not S, bro. It no longer has the potential. It's already like a hundred like episodes they, they, they in, and it's like okay. Supposed to be an S, and they didn't make the S. All, all my friends. Yeah, they dropped an S. They dropped the ball. It's only fifty some episodes in. And you throwing S ranks on that already? That is an A rank show. It can all. It can all. It's, it's an A minus at like, best. I, I B plus. Because I don't know. I might be it. Yeah, switch it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he didn't switch it. No one else saw but us. So, so I got to say, My Hero Academia, I just uh, got to it, uh, went through it in quarantine. And it's good. It will keep you entertained, more so than Fairy Tale. Um, it has some really, really original uh, characters and superpowers and artwork. But um, it, it's too similar to the Hero World and One Punch Man to me. Um, although they have different styles and it's just like, you know, nothing groundbreaking about it, really. Everybody gave Hunter x Hunter an S. Yes, I totally agree. You, if you haven't seen it, you gotta see Hunter x Hunter. You gotta see that. 
I totally agree. I got a quick story about that. Um, I used to have this uh, manga slash anime review channel. It never went anywhere because it was just me talking to a camera about manga. And um, one guy did leave a comment when I was uh, basically doing reviews of episodes of Hunter x Hunter I saw. And he was you know, f really friendly guy. Anonymous, of course. No idea who he was. But he was like, oh, just wait till you get to the Chimera Antark. He was the one... One viewer who was a super, like, he that was the only comment he probably left, but he was positive, he he gave that, I paid attention to it, and I got to the Chimera Ant arc, my gosh, still one of the best arcs, not of all time, but like, maybe top 20, top 20 is, and that's saying something, because there's hundreds of arcs I've seen, maybe top 15 or 10, uh, maybe even top 5, I, I I'd have to think about it, but it is one of the best, best arcs. Um, definitely DBZ inspired, but but still very well. Well, done. not just that arc. That whole no, show is beautiful from the 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 show is beautiful from beginning to end. Agreed. Hunter is Hunter is interested the whole time. Whole time. If you don't give Hunter Hunter is Hunter S, you, I don't know what to say to you. Even the whole part of the show is still cool. Yeah, I don't know about the whole show. I feel like the last part is kind of like. Yeah. So Greed Island, like that was the one arc that i was like the first time i saw it around i was like man this thing's kind of lame it's a filler arc it's this like card game arc i rewatched hunter x hunter this year and even greed island i liked a lot more the second time around i don't know it was just like more interesting or maybe i picked up different things but like at first i thought it was a filler arc but there's there's definitely a lot of instrumental parts in that arc that build toward the arc after which is the greatest arc of all time potentially the Chimera Antar, because they learn a lot of uh, skills around Nen if through Greed Island. And then it sets up for uh, so much more. Um, so much more that you haven't even seen yet if you only watch the anime. I'm one of those people who can't just watch the TV show. I gotta watch the manga. I, I, I transition to the manga because the manga is usually far ahead. I did that for Attack on Titan and I did that for uh, Hunter x Hunter. And the story, I mean... Wait till you see what happens after. I mean, it's it's even more drawn out. But um, man, this inheritance, this uh, inheritance arc that they're on now, the uh, the succession arc, it's crazy, crazy. Uh, the premise. I'm not gonna spoil much, but there's there's a king, and then there's twelve princes vying for power, and they all have Nen. It's it's insane. They left the hanging, I feel like. It's not done. It's not done. Yeah. Oh. It's not done. It's not yeah. good. <laughs> that's, that's one thing you, you all have to realize. Um, I think a lot of people just, they only watch anime and they assume the anime is everything. But r most of the time, the anime, the TV show, is based off the comics, which is where the real writer and the real like creator comes from. So usually those manga are far ahead and um yeah it's it, it's not it's not over <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much done a nigga yeah, like, 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 like the, the, the story is done but the the story's not done with the artist but the um, the, monk, the the writer is yeah i, I think so I, I, the story's not done uh the writer is i i wouldn't say he's done done um but he's he's definitely taking these long breaks which you know I, I don't fault him for it because who knows, maybe he's he has stress or health issues or whatnot, but like I, I can understand. Like I've been waiting for the next chapter in the manga for a long time now. But they're they're still pretty darn far ahead of the anime. I mean, y'all don't know what's coming. I mean this next arc after I mean the succession arc is ridiculous. I mean it's ridiculous, ridiculous. Yes, Guess who's back? The Phantom Troop. Uh, it's crazy, crazy, y'all. Basically, they need to take this time. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Like, so you giving it an A? No, no, no. Oh, no, I'm giving it an S. Oh, oh. but like, you <laughs> sad? <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, don't hey, the last one. The last one. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, I do see a lot of like comments about like, yo, they, sh you know, basically memes saying like, Hunter X Hunter's never gonna end. Um. I think they're just taking their time converting it from 
manga to anime. I mean, if y'all are like me, just transition to the manga. Because I can't wait for that. The story is insane, man. Same thing with One Punch Man. Y'all haven't seen nothing yet. Season 1 is just the beginning. I mean, the manga is so far ahead. And there's a reason why I would put One Punch Man as maybe my favorite anime slash manga of all time. Even above Hunter x Hunter and Attack on Titan. You, you'll see you'll see why. And then, and then I hated that part too, I was like, Whoa, hey, hold on, 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 Y'all don't understand how iconic and original Dragon Ball Z is for its time. People forget about that. I think that's why he gave it an A. I, I saw this hey, next debate. So. Hey, y'all get for twenty minutes. His name. Oh, the all, all the no, the, all the uh, what's we call it. Like, all the power scales, they're just made up. Just my all my power yeah, so, you know, I think his issue here, and I, I'm not going to push too hard on it because, like, the majority gave it an S, which, you know, I agree with. Um, but I, I would say um, I believe what he's doing is he's equating it to anyone who's exposed to Dragon Ball Z now, comparing it to all the other modern anime it looks like it's not original but it was the first of its kind it's like what 15 20 years old so back then it was like crazy like nothing like it nothing like it so original so of course part i feel like part of him is like considering dragon ball super which is a different thing in itself like that one like okay they, they brought it back after all these years and of course that one's just Obviously, the power levels are ridiculous. No one really likes Super as much, in my opinion, at least. I mean, of course, the power levels at that point, like, you can only climb so much. And they're basically gods at this point. Like, that's why even the 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 name of their form is Super Saiyan God. So, and yeah, I, you know, I personally believe if you watch Dragon Ball and then Dragon Ball Z, the power level extension is actually very realistic it's just it, since the the show is so long like it if you only look at the end like the last um 50 to 100 chapters like of course they, it looks ridiculous but you're, you're forgetting about the whole extension the hundreds and hundreds of dragon ball chapters and then hundreds and hundreds of dragon ball z chapters that came before where goku was really ascending very slowly it's made up. It makes no, no sense. Sense. my hero I mean, horrible comparison too. Like they shot out of the gate with power levels. I mean, they had superpowers on like episode one that were like destroying buildings. Like no, Goku like started out just as like, this little normal kid learning martial arts, barely able to like you know do much. So it's it's like not a fair comparison at all. But you know, y'all get that. Y'all get that. Was way more I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Oh, we just accepted that. Back land in my hero. Literally all the time. Nobody gets killed. Literally, Dobby came out there with one of the best firepowers. The muscle man. The muscle man. The muscle man. The muscle man should have beat me door. He lost because a nigga sprayed some water on his I don't remember that scene where some some really powerful guy lost with uh, water. Being sprayed in the eye, but that's funny, man. I, and, and I agree if that did happen, that's that's ridiculous. No, no, you no, no, that no, episodes I mean, he, he did put it, give it an A, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Is it better than Dragon Ball? If you give it a D, I, I would argue. Sword Art, what, what, what's up? What's Sword Art? Also, I only yeah, seen like six like, episodes of Sword Art on my. Seems alright. Like hey! I give it a B for what I've seen. First 14 episodes was gold level. Yeah. The first 13 episodes was gold level, but when you drop the ball, that's your whole yeah, show. Yeah, it drops but everything. Then, but then. That's the like that's the danger of world building. 
it's so hard to do right. You know, you might be doing so well for the first 10 episodes and then you drop the ball. That's what I like about Demon Slayer. Um, doesn't seem like they dropped the ball yet. Same with Jujutsu Kaisen, you know, and they're both one season deep. So that's very promising. Very, very promising. You watch the first 13 and just stop. Yes, I never, I never finished sort of. Yeah, wow. I did the same. Yeah, so well, I, I think it's like I'm done. Yeah, I, I like more. I'll keep watching. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was all right. I I, it reminded me too much of Greed Island and Hunter x Hunter. I mean, similar thing. Watch 14, I was like, I don't know about this. Then you gotta drop it. <laughs> you gotta drop it. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is he doing? That's why I got to have the beef. When did he get that? That was one part in the very first season. They was fighting. That one part where he was fighting that nigga. They was fighting in the air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was fighting. Yeah, let's skip ahead so this video is not too long. Oh, no, that's just sad. One Piece. Oh, One Piece. I mean, I'm not giving anything below. Uh. A B, honestly. I mean, One Piece is iconic. So good. So good. Uh, I'll give it a A plus or S minus. Whoa! Oh, no. A plus. Yeah, that's S rank, nigga. Oh, wow. They no. gave it all S's. Okay, let me, let me explain. I'll actually accept the A because there's a lot of episodes that are playing around. Mm -mm. And I feel like that, that can, you can take a... You can... I, I give it A plus too. I, I, I'm the contrarian with him this time. You know, I, when I compare it to Hunter x Hunter, I still think you know, One Piece, uh, it's close. It's close. But um, they really love to, like, make so many episodes. Take a grade down. What episodes you can't, you can't, take, you can't, you can't take a grade down for them. For a lot of episodes they be playing around, but even those episodes are sometimes interesting though. I feel like one thing's got some good, man. Built, uh, good, the the best, Dengue Bang fight is one of them. They had the best of them. They had the best of them. I feel like Naruto like like be fucking playing with their fillers. But, yeah, yeah, no. I think, but then Naruto's fillers are trash. Like, wait, wait, we were just talking about this yesterday in, um, CBS. I said I like Naruto more than One Piece as a whole, but no show has a better string of episodes than One Piece. Yeah. That's that's a fact there. I think um what's his name? Ichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece. Uh he is the best in the world at keeping a super long stretched out multi episode like hundreds of episodes show compelling and still very very uh interesting. Um, I, I really think that a, a lot of these uh, American TV shows that love to kind of milk their show for like seven seasons, they really got to learn from One Piece because, I mean, he is the best in the world at creating these long arcs that are just so interesting, even though they're hundreds of chapters long, and then just keep going and it's still relevant and they're still building towards this big ass thing at the end. I think it's brilliant. I mean, there's still, you can see that the, like... They're thousand, a thousand chapters in, and yet you can still see the progress that they've made to get close to that end pirate treasure, uh, One Piece. But at the same time, it's, you know, when you think about it, it's like, they spent a thousand chapters. They're still not there yet. But, you know, it makes a lot of sense when you when you read the whole thing like me. Oh, yeah. That, like that, no, that, no, that, no, that, no, that, that, Oh, yeah. No, 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 is no, the no, best no, there's some really good so story on piece, in there. If you sleep on one piece, just get the episode 500 and don't say nothing else to me. You'll that's, never that's sleep on it again. It's really the best one hundred episodes you've seen in your life. If you get to you are fucking hooked. But, yeah. that's one thing that's bad about one piece is... But you're rewarded, bro. You are You are rewarded, bro. It's worth it, man. But, one thing bad about one piece is, literally, some 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 arcs be born as hell. So, I would have said that. Honestly, like... The initial world building when they go to a new island and they the arc begins, it takes a while. I, I know what he's talking about. Um, I, I I read the manga, so I I, I didn't watch the TV shows, but I, it it's equatable in my opinion and with the story. They take their time building, like explaining the world. And it, it's a long explanation sometimes. There's a lot of like flashbacks that last for chapters and chapters and chapters and chapters. 
just to build this new world. And like each island so different. Like you got a lollipop island, you got this haunted house island. And I, I totally get it. But I feel like he Ichiro Oda probably understands that that's necessary to really get you hooked and compelled. Cause then when the payoff happens, when like, you know, you realize how much suffering happened and then Luffy comes in and saves the day, that payoff makes it worth it. If it didn't have that, um, sure, I think it, they could make it a little bit shorter still. And Arts are long. And it's my favorite show. Arts are like, like, two plus years. Punk has it. 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 Punk has Dude, the park ending was gone. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Bro, the park ending all the way until after the war is the best yeah. stream yeah, okay, yeah, ever. Yeah, we'll we, we take that too. So, yeah, that shit was I don't know, so that, that Thriller the park ending made up for all Thriller the park's ass. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> didn't have no payout. Nah, fuck out was trash. I was smoking. Hey, bro, I was smoking. 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 So yeah, One Piece, you, it's an S for sure, but you got y'all just gotta give it a chance. All the niggas, cause a lot of niggas in America don't give One Piece a chance. Get past the the fact that it's a lot of episodes. Them episodes are good as hell. Yeah, but I hate the hearing. Oh, it's too long, bro. I just can't. Bernard I hear that all the time, yo. It's not just in Texas, guys. I hear that all the time. You know, of the people that I bump into who who watch or read anime. There, I mean, some of them are kind of open-minded to it, but like a lot of them are like, "Yo, you, you like One Piece? I could just never get into it. It's just too many episodes." And I'm always like that One Piece evangelist, I would say. And I, I'll tell them, I'll tell them, like, I'll tell them this, like, almost all of them. I tell them the same thing. I say, "Here, hey, the goal is not to get to the end. Here, the goal is to enjoy the journey. Take it at your pace. Do whatever you." you can or you want to if it's just one episode a week it's one episode a week because some of it's just so darn good and then once you get to the end you're going to be bummed because then now you got to find a show that's just as good and it's going to be hard to do so be happy that you have so much to go through and it's it's you know once you watch all the anime you're like man a lot of crappy animes out there i wish there was more so like one piece definitely do not sleep on it um but so many people will tell me, I can't, I can't get into it because it's so many episodes. And I understand what you're coming from, but like, you do not need to reach the end to see the payoff. Like, every arc is maybe like 20, 20, 50 episodes, you know, depending in that range. So you, you don't have to, you, you don't have to do that. Until 720 episodes. Oh, stop. I just can't admit. And that's another thing, like, people think One Piece is so long, but then they forget. But then they watch Naruto all the way to the end, and they f they don't realize that's long too. <laughs> nah, bro, just good to watch. Seven hundred. Never heard of it. I feel like I've been spamming B. I've been spamming B too. We smart over here. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I think the first season it, of it didn't, do, it didn't do anything. Bro. It's slow as hell. It didn't yeah, do yeah, anything, yeah. and I'm not gonna give show an A off a of half of the show. Yeah, bro. I'm not done. The second I'm half of the show is an A. But the first half is a B, so that means... Yeah, I've never heard of this one. The second part was good. Was good. With, with the show ain't no I'll, I'll check it out, maybe. Oh, sounds like the first season, so... No, I watched the first... Oh, 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 I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna be my bad. But I watched... No, I watched the first... Oh, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna be my bad. I'm saying? I don't know, though. You watched... Like, I'm saying, like... Bro, the show... The show ain't... I was born. Let's jump ahead a little bit. Like you ain't gonna, you ain't know where you gonna stop watching that. Yeah, no, that's that's what's 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 Won the world over to ninjas. Um, I mean, we what else can you say? The easiest oh. as possible. We're not even going to sit here and go deep. Yeah, we're, Stop not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even going to sit there and explain it. You know 
know why Naruto is there. If you pass it, if you don't know why Naruto is there, you need to go sit down somewhere and watch it and then learn. Yeah. I give this a miss too. You haven't seen it? I haven't seen the whole thing too. Oh, come on, you gotta hey, see yes. it. Nah, he hasn't seen it. You have to show another S ring. Show. Maybe S ring. One of the coldest starts in any anime, too. Agreed. The, the, the main character dies in the first episode. And it doesn't that, fall. It's not about to be this. Epic cold start. The first character doesn't make it. No, he hasn't seen it. That's like random ass episodes. That show has shot full of best ring moments, and it's only 112 episodes. I encourage anybody to watch the S ring. Yeah, don't don't try to not watch it just because it looks old to you. Like that shit is oh, amazing. Yeah. It's from the creator of Hunter x Hunter as well. And I don't say this too many times, but watch it, dub. Watch it, dub. Oh, yeah. That people sleep on that. They don't realize that Hunter X, the Hunter x Hunter creator, also created Yu Yu Hakusho. Also, greatest cold open. Also, new win to end it. Also, still talked about today, despite it being like twenty five years old. Incredible. That's one of the shows you gotta watch, though. It's not even ugly for an old show. Yeah. It's not that show is cold, bro. And uh, Yusuke is funny as hell. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that whole that that squad is funny. Yeah, that whole <laughs> uh, Before we get into Boruto, I'm gonna say, like, Yu Yu Hakusho, like, one of the most crispest shows ever. Yeah, you. It, it was a show back in that era where you didn't have to expect it to go on for... 700 episodes because they're trying to milk as much money out of it as possible. No, you had 50 episodes and you were done. From beginning to end, it had romance, detective, action, thriller, supernatural, um, suspense, iconic show. Boruto, I'm going to give trash. I'm going to give it a C. Well, no, no, no. I'll give it a B, B minus. <laughs> it's trying. It's really trying. It still has that Naruto flame. Oh, well, wow, <laughs> see, I give it a B minus. I'm not gonna be one of the tallest people that give it an F just because it it, it, uh, it holds Naruto as a show. It, I think I think it holds Naruto as a show. It does, it does most definitely. But to an extent, yeah, like it's it's trying you know, hard. It kind of redeems itself a little bit with that fight shit. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. that was. A, I understand that's that's only one fight, though. but it was it was hella clean, and it's kind of showing you maybe Boruto will box in the near future. Yeah. Like in the near future, yeah. they might box. I'm, I'm not. If I was ranking it off Naruto too, though, it would be a, it would be a D. Like, How many episodes do they need? They use it ten yeah. couple of movies, but like, oh, that's too long. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, so it's it's a clear spin off, but honestly, like, I do give it some credit. They're definitely trying. It's not like. The plot is complete trash. Like they, they're really trying to continue it and they take it seriously and stuff. But it's clearly a next generation spinoff, and um, like um, at the least, you can tell the creators are not just like, oh, let's just create trash and like milk milk more money out of this. Like they're really trying to continue it on. Um, there's a lot of like relevant themes moving out. Naruto's in it, Sasuke's in it. They're trying to like learn from what uh, Naruto Shippuden ended on. So, so oh, wait, no, I'll give it a B minus, C plus. I'm gonna just give it a B, but it's the lowest B ever. Like it's yeah. really a C plus. <laughs> One Punch Man. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. I give it an S. Okay. Give it a B. Yeah, it gets a. The first season was very, very cool, but it's too. It's still a baby show. I can't give it an S rating. Yeah, that's that's the thing though. I I give it an S because I've seen. I've seen the manga. Like this is probably one of the biggest disagreements I have, and that's just because like, um, I I feel like they only watch the TV show, the anime. Um, and there's only one season of One Punch Man out with like 12 episodes. It's nothing. It is a baby show. And if that's all you've seen, yeah, I would give it maybe a A as well. It gets so much better. I'm telling you, it gets crazy, crazy good. If they ever do like continue it on, man, that deserves an S. Like you, you all don't know what's coming. Oh, the second season? Yeah. You can't! Oh, what's up? Really? That's not his fault. That's not the nigga in the show fault. Tokyo Go. Tokyo Go. I haven't seen this one. 
Ooh, maybe I check that out. Okay. The first two seasons of Tokyo Ghoul is locked. Yeah, yeah, the first two seasons of Tokyo Ghoul is really locked. Cause the, the third season of Tokyo Ghoul, I keep hearing bad things. I keep hearing so about. much bad things about it. But I ain't watched it yet, so I'm not gonna drop to a B yet. When I watch it, I'm gonna drop, drop. But until <laughs> then, I'm not gonna drop it, bro. Cause you know he. And Ab giving shit upside down B's. You ever watched it? My shit. I'm sleeping on it. I feel like that's gonna happen with Jujutsu Kaisen. Well, season three, he, you know, he, he loses his memory. Oh! Uh, it's, not, it's not spoiled. Uh, uh, he just loses his memory, you know. He, he, I guess he's trying to... You watch Didn't it? Didn't you watch four episodes? Yeah, I watched four episodes. He has flashbacks and he's like... He be like remembering like something. Yeah. yeah, he remembers something. You only got two episodes. Like, yeah, I, mean, so I want to skip like, ahead. Like, he's he's going to try to yeah. spoil something. Yeah. Eventually, he's going to start remembering. Yes, nigga. I'm going to give it to it. And I'll just... Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist, S minus or A plus, and we're talking Brotherhood, okay? Cause, and people would disagree, but Full Metal Alchemist, not Brotherhood, is trash. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is good, cause that is based on the manga, the real source material. That is original and crazy. Full Metal Alchemist. The TV producers weren't patient enough to wait for the manga to do their thing. So they made up their own story and it just turned to trash, trash, trash. I know some people like it better than Brotherhood, but I just completely disagree. Like, it, it, I watched it. It was just so confusing, rambling. The plot went nowhere. It spiraled in and out of control. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood had a clear, defined, moving plot in one direction with a lot of great plot twists and great stuff. Incredible world. Okay. I, I give it a... But as iconic as Naruto, as original, as the, or the characters as incredible and unique and, and, and was the universe as great, I would say the universe is the only area that, that was up to par with Naruto. The other stuff, I can't, I can't say it was as good. So I would give it a S- minus or... A, a plus. So still still fairly close to all this. The world building, the universe, the FMA, incredible. But I put that on in the living room one time. Me and Desmond watched the whole show, and this nigga had the chance to watch the whole show and literally bailed out on that though. Wow. Yes. Wow. wow. That's an S show. That's a yeah. That's a bro. Bleach. Bleach. Yo, I give it an A plus. Um, and you know, it, it started out S, and it, it stayed S for a long time. And then they just started adding these really crappy arcs that were not f technically filler. They were canon, but they were just filler-like. And they dragged them on, and it just got... And I know a lot of people were mad at the ending. I thought the ending was actually decent. It wasn't as... Um, it wasn't as epic as one would imagine. Because, um, you know, it was kind of like a... Not spoiling anything, but it was more like a Game of Thrones ending, and obviously everyone hated that underwhelming, confusing Game of Thrones ending. It wasn't as bad as that, but I know some people were mad at that. I think that the show creator, my my random guess is that he just wanted to end it, so he just wrote something quick. Um, I give it a plus. I mean, there's some S moments. I give it bleach an S. I give it a S. I give it a S. Dang, Desmond gave it an F. I was about to say, 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 I was yeah, oh, I gave up as a kid. I spoiled it. No, I looked it up online. Oh, I was like, spoiled it. <laughs> he spoiled hey, himself. Bleach is the most slept on oh, rope oh, show ever. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It, people don't realize there's the big three, and then Naruto and One Piece usually get all the credit, all the love, um, because of how, I guess, iconic Naruto is. But, like, Bleach is still a part of that big three. 
And there's a reason for it. And it, it gets slept on. People don't really talk about it anymore. But um, there's some really, really iconic moments in, in Bleach. Oh, yeah. So original. Bleach is, thank oh, you. Oh, Bleach is the most slept on ghost show ever. Niggas literally see Bleach, see one that niggas from the store one time and just think that hell weak. I thought that hell was weak. Why, why is that? Why is it so not like. like it's literally, why is it not up there with them? Like, no, they put it at number three in the, in the top, in the big three. I think it's it's slept on just because Naruto is just so amazing, you know, kind of like you know, in My Hero where, you know, the number two hero, uh, just kind of gets overlooked because of the number one hero, um, so it, I think I feel it's like a similar thing. Um, if it wasn't for Naruto, I mean, Bleach would be like yo, like everyone would be talking about because there's some really iconic villains and characters, but. Naruto is just on another level. Like, how are you going to compete with something like that? But then they it dropped down just because they fucked the ending. Like, yeah, the ending. Yeah, that's, the yeah, that's why I stopped watching. Like, they should have ended it. They should have ended it after Ozzy, but they wanted yeah. money and they kept on going and stuff, and then they ended up ruining. It. They did drag it out for the money a bit. I think um, if they made the ending more kind of predictable in this like giant clash with this incredible drawn out fight, like they usually do with like the previous arcs. But you know, they the ending was kind of abrupt. I, I'm not gonna spoil much, but it's just like what the, the anime got canceled. But the show is still an S show, bro. Yeah. Watch that show. Oh, 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 Watch that show. It's still really good, and it's it's not over yet. Like they left a cliffhanger. Um, I don't know if it was a next generation cliffhanger, but there's like they didn't just end from it. Episode, from episode one, nigga, you gonna be in love. Quit all like the dark, but I don't know how people say. Oh, they end. Why they end it like that? Why yeah, they they know, know, I mean, no, I'm saying, no, I'm asking why would they end the show no. that great like that? Oh, I was about to say, nigga, Dragon Ball Z ended the show ass too. Okay. I, I think you know, um, it's it's a number of things. Um, I was also shocked. Most people were like. Um, I think partially, you know, when there's a large audience like that, everyone's a critic. No, you can't please everyone, and no matter what you write, like someone's going to be mad. But for that show, like it ended abruptly. I don't think the ending really. I mean, people people stress the ending too much. I think that I personally love the show as a whole. Um, and I I didn't take points off for the ending in particular as others did. It was more so because. A lot of the later arcs, they were just kind of trashy, you know. They they stretched it out. They were clearly trying to make more money. So, like, it wasn't... The, the, the urgency, the danger wasn't as pressing to me. It was just like, okay, another another fleet of somewhat mediocre but threatening and more powerful villains. Okay. Naruto Loki ended that show pretty trash. Oh, yeah. They I mean, I I think I think uh, Marcus is just being a, a, a big critic here because Naruto's ending was pretty legit, man. That was a, a epic ending, big ass war fight. Like that's that's really where Bleach was going towards. And then instead of ending it with all those fireworks like Naruto did, and you know the creators knew that's what the fans wanted, so he gave it to them. Bleach was kind of just like. A bit more abrupt. I think they they made the wrong move there. Um, so, you know, I disagree there. I thought Naruto's was great. Dragon Ball Z's ending. I, I thought that was pretty darn good too. They, I mean, not as great as Naruto, but still pretty darn good. I mean, they ended battling it out with Majin Buu, the greatest, most powerful being in the universe at the time that they knew of. Um, that had haunted the Supreme Kai's for generations, tens of thousands of years. I mean, epic, epic ending. Um, I don't know what he's saying. But I mean, it's still S's. It's still S's. It's still, it's still all S's. Right? Yeah. But I think that's enough ranking up the animated that we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Peace out, y'all. That's the end of Back and Forth. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching, y'all. Um... Do you think they should have done more animes? Do you think there are any animes that they they could they did, but they uh, you disagree with their rankings, or were there any that you wish you did? 
they did animes on. I personally wish that they did some more, uh, specifically some of the modern anime, maybe even throw in some vintage anime like Cowboy Bebop, you know, another really old show that people talk about a lot. Um, or some of those newer shows that got everyone buzzing. I know they know about Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer because they bring it up in the their anime house videos. Uh, I mean, what about Death Note? Another iconic old show. And then there's like medium tier, like not modern modern, but not old either shows uh, that that are really good as well. So I, I would love to hear them talk about a few of those as well. Um... But yeah, I think uh, they they hit most most of the important ones. I would say um, only a couple were missing. Inuyasha, maybe. Um, I could you could argue Avatar, but th that's not really an anime. Um, so you know, really, I think they covered most of them. But I would love to see a part two. And for me, I think you know. Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen have a lot of potential. A lot, lot of potential. Obviously, very different art styles. Demon Slayer, more of the kiddie, but, you know, surreal, like, Japanese art style. Um, with modern graphics that almost turn 3D. Jujutsu Kaisen, more of a more mature style, but very fantastical, beautiful, and creepy at times. Um, yeah, would have loved to hear more more of their ratings on those type of shows. Obviously, they're very new, but they're both of them wrapped up their first seasons. And, I mean, I would give them S potential. They're both A's in my books. I would put Demon Slayer a little bit higher. Give it an A+, plus, Jiu Jitsu, A-. minus. Why? Because Jiu Jitsu is going the route of My Hero. They're in that freaking school. It's another school show, just like Naruto. And those usually just end up being like predictable, boring, cookie cutter. It's like, okay, now you're in school. Now you're in grade two. Now you pass this exam. Like, come on, man. Let's let's switch it up a bit. Like, not everything's like classroom uh, esque. Let's let's get some pressing fights in. Let's go back to those times where. You know, like Yu Yu Hakusho, it wasn't about like, okay, you, you, he was a student, but they quickly moved beyond the school. He was this guy who was just trying to trying to survive and like do the right thing and all this crap was thrust on him. That's the type of pressing stuff we see. I mean, Attack on Titan does that, but yeah, anyhow, um, I could talk about this for a while. I would love to hear him uh, talk about other shows um, that maybe are less common or, or maybe most slept on. I mean, all these big ones I'm familiar with, they're the ones I watch most. But um, there's a couple out there that I think are way, way underrated or uh, needs to be introduced more. And the first would be Claymore. Claymore is epic, epic, epic. Um, incredible, incredible show. Um, so... That's that's all I gotta say. Um, really enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if if you want me to react to any more of RDC World stuff or do another video. I know it's kind of random, but I really just love them so much that I mean I was so so looking forward to this to doing this. I I mean I had the idea to react to this for such a long time, so so I'm glad I did it. And once again, shout out to RDC World, one of my favorite YouTube channels.